one of the toughest jobs of being an actor in India has to be handling press interviews. To be at your best behavior, cool, calm and collected when you're asked a range of invasive and inappropriate questions is extremely tough. Sometimes these lead to highly uncomfortable situations. So here is Tried and Refuse Productions with 8 most awkward Bollywood interviews. Number 8 goes to Rakhi Sawant. Post the shocking news of Pratyusha Banerjee's suicide, Rakhi Sawant had held a press conference with various media outlets, and to everyone's surprise and curiosity, Rakhi had a ceiling fan right next to her. What followed was a series of strange and insane statements by the over-the-top celebrity. Ghar ghar se aise fan hatana, ceiling fan hatana zyada zaruri hai. Aur Modi ji se request karna chahti hu ki ghar ghar mein se ceiling fan hata diya jaye. Jaan jaan hai to jahan hai. Savant on Tuesday said that the banning of ceiling fans from homes is more important than chanting Bharat Mata ki jai. According to the press conference, she urged people to use a table fan or an air conditioner instead of a ceiling fan. You can make sure you're always in for a treat when she sets up for any kind of interview. Jaan hai to jahan hai. Jaan hai to jahan hai. Number 7 goes to Ravina Tandon. To be in the right space coupled by constant media attention is extremely tough. Ravina Tandon at a media event seemed to be frustrated with the way media turns things and seemed to have a one-on-one discussion on the bizarre and ridiculous nature of the tabloids. What goes on is a full-on rant about the media's coverage of her on the fashion police. And said god how can she dress like this at an event? I mean are you all crazy? I can't wear a ghagra choli which I'm shooting like a gaon wali go to an event. So now I've stopped. If I'm in, in, in a costume, I'm not comfortable either. To make matters worse, Ravina Tandon thought throughout that her wenting was not being recorded. Record to nahi kar raha. Trust the media; it will never disappoint to record celebrities in their most vulnerable state. Number six goes to Anurag Kashyap. Anurag Kashyap at the book launch of Hadal by C. P. Surendran. After a very open and candid panel discussion about the book, Anurag Kashyap did the usual media Q&A session. But what was supposed to be a civil affair led to an unnecessary scuffle between him and an interviewer. The interviewer, after asking him whether he was displeased by certain profanities in the book, was called to show his face and have an open discussion with the press beside him. उनकी हर चीज से सहमत हूँ, उनकी किताब से सहमत हूँ। आप जो हैं दूसरों के सब मेरे मुंह में क्यों ठुसना चाह रहे हैं? ये जानना चाह रहा हूँ। नहीं, मैं तो नहीं आप इस तरह से सवाल करेंगे मैं आपके आज, आज मैं आपका नाम लेके आपको बैन करूँगा क्योंकि आप जबरदस्ती के सवाल पूछते हैं और जबरदस्ती आप उसको कंट्रोवर्सी बनाते हैं आप अपनी शक्ल गई मीडिया के सामने आइए इधर आइए ये आप यहाँ आप सवाल पूछिए मुझसे चलिए खड़े होने देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस ओवर सेक्स एंड इन रिटर्न इन द बुक Not only did this lead to an awkward and uncomfortable conversation, but the interviewer gets schooled with his lack of knowledge and urgency to create controversy. The discussion that happened here. No, no. What? Have you read the book? No, I have not. I will read, read the book. Now, then ask the question. No, yes, sir. तुम्हारे वजह से क्या हो चुका है हमारे लिए? बात करने का मन नहीं करता. Number five goes to Alia Bhatt. Something that seems to have never left Alia Bhatt whenever she does interviews is the parading general knowledge questions due to her big slip up in coffee with Karan. A person can only handle repetition and condescension for so long. At a red carpet interview during an award show, an interviewer confronted her asking whether she knew why Holi was celebrated. Why is it celebrated? Do you know? 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 Don't ask if you don't know, bro. What followed was Alia Bhatt clearly having had enough. These media outlets really know how to push the right buttons. Number four goes to Kabir Khan during a press conference of Phantom. At a press conference with his actors Saif Ali Khan and Katrina Kaif, the team was constantly bashed on making anti-Pakistan movies, which wasn't the case at all. Even after reiterating that only certain factions of Pakistan represent extremism and anti-India sentiments, one individual completely lost it at this statement, thinking Kabir Khan stated that there were terrorist elements in India. Pang said extremist elements. Sorry, name who? One second. I think first, 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 first. Just a minute, sir. First, first, one sec. Listen. 
first do not talk to me like that i do not appreciate it okay come come over here let me see your face and have a normal conversation do not get into this taking it way out of proportion and just bombarding the proceedings with shouting talk about creating a scene number 3 goes to ashwarya rai bachchan on david letterman this is one interview which is a blast from the past at this time ashwarya rai was buzzing on the international scene with oprah interviews and many offers to star in hollywood movies when she was called to david letterman to talk about her movie bride and prejudice what could have been a fun discourse with a old white man and a beautiful and more importantly intelligent indian woman turned out to be a patronizing and douchey interview language yeah. and how, how many languages do, do you speak well i i can um, speak about four languages Wh- what are those and languages? i hindi marathi um, my mother tongue tulu and uh, broken tamil as well wow <laughs> it's it's just crazy because here in the united states uh, we speak english <laughs> i'm right about this globally you're an enormous star aren't you you could go, go to any place on the globe no, it just evokes a from you so no <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, but now how did you get into your first um, by the way do you live with your parents is that true yes and, and is that common in india for uh, older uh, children to live with their parents what has to be said is that ashwarya rai was as graceful as ever and was a very charming representative of the rich and diverse country it's fine to live with your parents mm-hmm. because um It's also common in India that we don't have to take appointments with our parents to meet for dinner. So. Oh. Oh. Number 2 goes to Salman and Sohail Khan on Seedhi Baat. Doing media interviews to promote a movie has to be one of the most exhausting tasks ever. But when Sohail and Salman Khan came on Aaj Tak to promote their movie Jai Ho, the interviewer Rahul Kanwal definitely didn't care about the movie. and wanted to focus on more controversial matters blaming salman khan to be a sell out and not having any social responsibility by performing in places where there is heavy social and political unrest wahan pe itne bade dange hue jab mahilaon ka rape ho raha hai jab sardi mein log mar rahe hain salman kyun nach rahe safed mein what ends up happening is salman khan schooling the interviewer about media malpractices his own philanthropic work and the unnecessary urge for the people to stir controversy kya paisa hi sab kuch hai sir kya aapki sahanubhuti nahi honi chahiye un logon ke prati sir kamal hai ki aap yahan par kis liye ho kya paise nahi lete our job is to entertain jo paise humne kamaye the wo wahi par chhod aaye aur ye is waqt ki baat hai before before nahi bawal khada hone ke baad ki pehle 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 we have taken care of uh about 250 uh heart patients their kids you have to see this for yourselves for the sheer way the interviewer gets wrecked number 1 goes to sunny leon's interview on cnn ibn what has to be hands down one of the most embarrassing and cringe worthy interviews is the cnn ibn interview of sunny leon by bhupendra chobe A close to 20 minute interview with questions that are offensive, sexist, misquoted and downright uncalled for for is one of the toughest interviews to watch. He blames her for choosing the path of her career, how her past would be nothing but a problem for her Bollywood career and also states how her existence pollutes the minds of husbands in India. Wouldn't. So you would want to work with Amir but Amir would not want to work. Well, with I have no idea you have to how, ask. How, how, does, how, how would this reflect on you then? On the side there are some who believe that if Sunny Leone is uh, is is becoming this brand ambassador of sorts of this new India then it's a very <laughs> dangerous trend to have. The interviewer was a clear reflection of not what India thinks but the interviewer's own regressive views and insecurities.